Ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to talk about another hook called useRef. We're also going to talk about forward ref. So what does useRef do? useRef allows you to access a particular HTML element. There are a lot of people who do give an ID to an element and then use get element by ID, you know, use just a pure uh, JavaScript to access the element. I think that is a wrong way to do it. Uh, React provides a right way to do it, which is using use ref. So you provide a reference to a particular element and you can access it uh, using that reference. And welcome to TechSit Tutorials. All right, so let's get started. Here I've created uh, an empty project using Create React App. And make sure you install the latest version of Create React App if you want to use the hooks because uh, previous to 16.8 version of React, uh, the hooks are not available, so your code won't run. All right, so to use this, we are going to create a couple of elements here so we can access it. So I'm gonna create an input, uh, and inside I would have, this would be, let's say, type equal to text, and we can have some placeholder which says enter first name okay so i have this here and similarly i can have another element which we can access and this would be enter last name and let's also have some button and this would say submit so imagine this is a form you enter something here and what you want to do is uh, when you load the page the focus should be uh, at this location on the first name because that's the starting of the form and then when you enter something and click enter the focus should go to the last name and then when you enter something and then again enter the focus should go to the submit button and you should automatically submit the form you don't really have to use your mouse at all this is often an accessibility requirement so you can nav navigate using your uh, keyboard so first we need to have something where we can actually focus on the first name when we load the page. So for that, we will use an interesting hook call, use effect. Because we want to know when the page is finished loading, then only we're going to focus on that uh, first name. So here I can use that hook call use effect. And use effect always takes a callback function. And the second argument is some dependency when do you want to run this if i provide an empty array that means i'm going to run it on the initial load if i don't provide anything that means i'm going to run it every time and if i provide some dependency means when this particular variable change uh, run it in this case we just want to run it on the initial load so i'm just going to leave this empty so what are we going to do it inside here so i'm just going to print some alert here uh let's say page loaded or something so we would know this Okay, so when the page is loaded, it runs this. And after this, I do something, nothing would happen. Okay, now we need to access this elements so we can focus on them. So for that, we're gonna use another hook called useRef. All right, so here I'm gonna create a ref for all three. So the first one would be const, let's say first name ref equal to useRef. And I'm just going to provide null inside. And let's have another one called last name ref equal to also use ref. And this will also have null. This means not pointing to anything. And the last one would be submit ref. This would also have use ref and null. So I have now three references. So I can create a reference to each element by simply doing this, ref equal to, and the second would be ref equal to last name ref, and here I would have ref equal to submit ref. Now let's format this so it looks reasonably good. So now when I initially load, and within this use effect, when the page is loaded, all I can do is use this uh, reference to the first name and I can say, okay, focus on this particular element because first name reference holds the 
reference to this element now because I have provided it. So all I have to do is I can say first name reference dot and every use ref reference would have a property called current which holds the, the reference. And then I have to say, okay, now focus on that. So if I refresh it now, it uh, focuses on the first element. If I say, let's say last name ref and I run it, it focuses on the last name. Okay, so every time I refresh it, it focuses on that one. Okay, so this is cool. But also what I want to do is when I enter something and then click enter, that should actually move the focus to the, the last name. Again, if I enter something and uh, enter again, it should go to submit. So for that, we need an event. And that event is on key down. So let's add an on key down event equal to, I'm going to call it first key down. I haven't created this yet, but we'll create soon. And I'm going to copy paste here the last key down. And then this one should say submit key down. Okay. It's going to give you an error because it I haven't created them yet. So let's format this and now it looks reasonably good. Let's create this three handles. So the first handle would be, uh, so I would have function and let's call it first key down. Then I would have a second function called last key down. And then I would have a third function. Yeah. It's weird whenever you pick something, it just imports that. So let's clear it. Function uh, submit key down. Okay, so what should happen when I key down? So when I key down, uh, I wanna do the same thing. So after the first key down, I want to focus to the last name reference, right? So now if I enter something, well, it goes because uh, I'm not key down means any key, which means I need to say, okay, when I click enter right now, as soon as I type, it moves. So I need to check if the key is enter. So I can, I need to get a synthetic event from here. Um, no, not here, here. And then I would check if the E dot key equal to, let's say, enter. And then I want to do this. Let's format this again. And now it doesn't do it. As soon as I enter, now it goes to the last one. And I can do this similar for the last key down. In this case, um, I would want to go to the submit reference. So let's do this, enter, do this, enter. Now it goes to submit. What do you want to do on the submit key down? What I'm going to say is I'm not going to go anywhere. I'm just going to say form submitted. So I will just use an alert. Don't use alerts, but I'm just doing it here because of the uh, tutorial. It's, it is easy to see. I'm going to say form submitted. Okay, let's format this. And now I'm going to go here, enter, go here, enter, and again, enter. That should submit the form. I'm not using my mouse at all here. This is pretty cool, but in most of the application, you will be using some sort of component, uh, which will have input boxes inside. Uh, you won't have access to the reference directly. So how you deal with that? So let's create a few components uh, so that we can pass a reference to it. And that's where the forward ref comes in the picture. So here I'm going to create a folder called components. And inside I would have an input. Let's give it a input.js react from react. Let's hide this here. And then I'm going to create a component called input. 
and then I'll just need to export it. All right, so what goes inside the input? We'll just have regular input here. Now here you can have multiple multiple elements, but I'm just gonna, to, to, sh to demonstrate this, I'm just gonna use something simple, which is input. I have multiple things, type, on key down, ref, and placeholder. So I've got four properties. Let's first uh, import our component so we can use it. Import input from components slash input. Now I can replace this. So the difference between those who don't know, the difference between the component, like React component and regular HTML elements is the capitalization of it. So let's replace both of these with this. And here it actually returns it. However, this would create problem because now I'm passing all these props, uh, but that needs to go inside here. So type is fine. We can pass it in. On click down, we can pass it in. Placeholder, we can pass it in. But reference, we need to use a different way of doing it. So first argument here would be my props. And then I can simply pass those props here. And the reason, well, this should supposed to be regular input. And now it gives me the error that this is not, so the refs are actually not working. And that's why we need a forward ref. So for that, what you have to do is, uh, let's do one thing. So let's say props, I'm getting three props, right? So I'm getting the type, on key down and placeholder. So let's destructure them. So type on key down and placeholder. So I can say type equal to type on key down is equal to on key down and placeholder equal to placeholder. But for the reference, what I would need to do is, uh, I can pass the reference here. So I can say a ref, and here, I would from the React, I would get forward ref. And I would wrap my input in the forward ref, and that would give me a forwarded ref. So I would say const input, and then I can export this. And now I would say here, since I have a second argument, which is ref, so I can say ref equal to ref. Now let's format this document. So again, I have three regular props, type, on key down, and placeholder. And the ref I'm getting as a second argument here uh, because I'm using this forward wrap. So forward wrap is nothing but I'm forwarding the reference into my component. And now it would work the same way. Enter, enter, and enter. So here I don't have to do anything uh, funny. It works just like before, except now I have forwarded ref separately using this forward wrap. By the way, if you wanna try this out, I will uh, upload this onto my github site and provide you a link so you can actually uh, try it out uh, the, the link would be in the description and i hope you learned something new from this video and if you did please like don't forget to like like subscribe and provide a nice comment and you can translate this video for me uh, the instruction is in the description thank you